So we're going to do a test uh, sequencing hardware. So my hardware devices begins with the Phantom EX. Okay, I got the Oberheim T05. I got the Mini Freak. I'm using the Behringer JT4000, the Roland SEO2, and I'm using the Behringer Poly D. And, and last but not least is the Korg Mini Log. Okay. So I'm gonna solo each sound and let you know that everything is playing right now. So XD. That's the SE. All right, it's the TO. Basic patch, but just play around. Uh, turn this to a right here. Basically, I'm gonna go in deep on this one right here, but I really, really like this sound. All right, and what's next? That's the harp sound. It's patch here coming out of the EX6. JT, all right, that's that one. All right. That's the Mini Freak. That's the Poly. Okay, this is the, oh, I forgot about the, uh, Pro 800, which is a um, a profit clone. All right. Hi hat, of course. MPC. All right. Just to kick in the snare. playing just fine in MPC 2.5 and I'll just just for kicks I'll show you here info 2.5 15.1 I think the point one has to do with uh update the stems uh maybe a stability issue or better algorithm I'm not sure I hadn't tried it yet or read the notes but that's okay we'll get back to that in a minute all right so now what I'm going to do is install um MPC 3 on here and we're going to try to play the same sequence all right the sequence is called space all right and now i can put this in song mode and you know do all that kind of stuff but we're just gonna see if it just plays back in 3.0 all right so we got 3.0 loaded up as you can see now the first thing i noticed is that it did not carry over my midi so what i'm gonna do is uh as far as my uh i think the drums the drums loaded up just fine so Let's just go through the tracks and let's just see if we pick up uh, the first one here is the Korg Mini Log. Let's see. All right, All right that's fine. All right, we got the SEO2 here. Let's go play. That's correct. T.O. Okay, that's fine. And we got the harp. This is going to be the phantom. Here's a mixer. It's only just this one 
situation here on here. So here's the mixer for it. So I'm going to stop and start it back and see if my mixer level changes. Okay, so the level's still the same. It's on 74. All right, so let's go to the next one. I'm just doing this real quick from my iPhone, okay? In the JT, this is the Behringer JT4000. So let's go here. So that's playing. All right. Next one. This is the Mini Freak. I'm telling you, don't sleep on that Mini Freak. That Mini Freak is amazing. I haven't even scratched the surface of it. All right, here's the Poly D. All right, and here's the Pro 800. Just now, I have it connected MIDI through the MPC port for some reason usb does not work with this machine correctly so maybe something that i need to do but i'll figure that part out later but yeah so now it's playing i'll just go ahead and so that's all of them i believe what else is needed okay it's the hi hats it's the drums okay yeah that's it right there all right so let's see what we got So now let's just put that in a quick song mode. I'm just going to try something here. All right. So I'm going to just pause and do that. Excuse my fan on. It's a little warm in here with all this analog gear. But um, yeah, when you go to song mode, you go to your sequences and you automate things. You have to put it on, uh, turn the automation record on to record your mutes. All right. So let's go to, let's see. track mutes on the first main sequence. Um, all right, now let's put it back on read. Now let's um, go here to song mode and let's see what happens. Okay, 
so we got those. Now let's go to convert to a sequence. Let's put it on number. Let's just move it up to number seven. Lucky number seven. Go do it. Go here to main. Go here to five, six, five, six, seven. All right. Now if I go to a range mode here, oops, I got to get used to where range mode is. Right there. Let's see what we got. Here. Technically, we just, it's a workaround for the song mode, but I guess um, I never really had to press that automate button. I mean, the record automation button before in song mode, but I guess that's part of the 3.0. Maybe they revert back to the regular song mode where you don't have to do that. But uh, yeah, I think we got a workaround on that, and it may not be the workaround. It may be the way of how it works now, but yep. Yeah. And I'll be cooking up from scratch with the uh, hardware and the um, MPC and MPC3 coming up real shortly.